This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 15-F387WM touchscreen laptop, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a HP Pavilion 15-F387-387WM laptop. All right, before we get started, a couple details first. Uh, the first thing we want to do is, since this particular model has a removable battery, we want to do that. To remove the battery, we unlock it over here, and then slide the battery out. We have another lever, and just slide the battery out. Real easy. Now we can work on it. The second thing we want to do on the bottom is verify the model number. So where you see the barcode on the lower left hand side, it says model 15-F387WM. All right, so now let's go back, open up the laptop. Like I said, this is a touch screen laptop and um, this particular design, it also, there, it can also fit a non-touch display in there, a non-touch LCD in there. So this same procedure will work for a non-touch LCD, and I believe for the non-touch LCD, the model number is HP15-F272WM. I will uh, dis put in the description the uh, model numbers that this particular procedure works for, and which ones are touch and which ones are non-touch. Okay, next thing. So once we remove the battery, let's go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. A metal spudger to pry things open. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws and to manipulate cables. So, um, next thing we want to do is to snap the screen bezel off. But before we do that, actually, we have to remove two screws at the bottom which are hiding behind screw covers. And this is the first time we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the screw cover and peel it off. And behind there we'll see a screw. So I like to attach the screw cover right next to the opening so we don't lose it. So same thing on this side. We open it up and then we use our PH1 electronics screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. There's one and these are really tight. So and there's two. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep the screws in a different pile to keep track of which screws go where, and go where when we put the laptop back together. Next thing we want to do is snap the screen bezel off. And we use our fingertips or fingernails to grab on the inside of the screen bezel and lift upwards and outwards. And this one is particularly easy to snap off, so that's good news. And we keep going around and and just comes off really easy. So the next thing we want to do is to unscrew the LCD screen from the screen back of the screen assembly. And to do that we have four screws. They're the black screws, so they're on the inside, not this screw, but the one on the inside. And same thing over here, one on the inside and the black screw on the inside here and the black screw on the inside here. So we keep going. And when you engage the screws, make sure you get a good grip on it because sometimes these have a tendency to strip if you don't have a good grip on it and get it started. And the last screw comes off. And we want to have the screen assembly tilted back so it doesn't, the screen doesn't fall forward on you when all the screens come off. Next, we grab the screen by the metal tabs, like so, and just gently lay the screen on the keyboard. And we disconnect it 
over here like so. All right, next we wanna remove the connector from the screen assembly. And to do that, we will have to lift up the adhesive tape, and this one's a little bit tricky, but we just lift up the corner with a hobby knife and then peel the adhesive tape back, like so, and then grab the connector by both ends and just pull the connector out like so. I'm going to reconnect it to show you how it's properly connected. So when you slide it back in, you feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly connected connector looks like. You can pause the video right here. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. All right, we remove the connection one more time and take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch touch screen, slim form factor with a glossy finish. The part number for this particular screen is B156XTK01.0. Okay, so this, like I said, this is a touch screen. There is another screen that looks very similar, almost exactly like this, that is a non-touch screen that it goes into some of the models of this laptop. And the only way to tell the difference other than the part number is to look at the connector. This particular, this touch screen has a 40 pin connector and the non-touch screen, it's called an EDP screen. It only has a 30 pin connector. So the connector is going to be smaller and if you're not sure, you just you can just count the number of pins on there and that way you can tell if it's a touch screen. So the two screens are not interchangeable, but so make sure you're uh, changing the screen for a touch screen or a non-touch screen. The procedure is exactly the same, but the screen is different and they're not compatible with each other. All right, uh, you can get both screens from us. Uh, we have them listed by the laptop model number uh, in our catalog. So if you have the right model number, we'll have the right screen for you, whether it's touch screen or non-touch screen. So uh, you can order the screen from us. Go to www.screensurgeons.com and just enter your model number in the search box on the front page and then that'll guide you to buy the right screen online. And um, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the structure your country in the checkout procedure. We have a two-year warranty with our screens and this exact same toolkit that I use in this video comes for free with every screen. And also we have free shipping, free priority mail shipping in the United States. Okay, so once you do get your screen in, make sure that it looks like the um, original screen. The part number might not be exactly the same, but it should look exactly the same. The connector should be in the right place, and it's 40 pin for a touch screen and 30 pin for a non-touch screen. Once you do verify those, reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws on top, two on the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, put the battery back in, and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.